How far can the tendrils of obsession reach before they strangle the very thing they seek to possess? This question hangs heavy as we delve into the chilling tale of Valentina Trespalacios, a budding Colombian DJ whose life was prematurely extinguished. Her body was found in a suitcase in Bogota, a grim testament to a crime most unthinkable. In the center of this storm was John Poulos, a 35-year-old American citizen, later arrested in Panama in a dramatic twist. An alleged lover turned suspect, Poulos was reportedly planning to board a flight to Turkey, perhaps an attempt to escape the consequences of his actions. Trespalacios and Poulos had been in a relationship for eight months, a period marked not by love but by Poulos's alleged obsession with the promising DJ. This was not a simple infatuation, it was an obsession so intense that it led Poulos to hire a private investigator to track Trespalacios. What could have driven a man to commit such a heinous act? As we continue to unravel this tragic story, that question will remain at the forefront of our minds. The sequence of events that unfolded is as troubling as it is tragic. In the heart of Bogota, a city pulsating with life and music, a tale of jealousy and obsession began to unravel. Valentina Trespalacios, a 23-year-old Colombian DJ and an award-winning talent, was in the prime of her life and career. At the same time, she found herself entangled in a relationship with John Poulos, a 35-year-old American citizen. Their relationship seemed to be on a fast track with plans of moving in together after just eight short months. But beneath the surface, there were alarming signs. Poulos, driven by an unhealthy obsession, hired a private investigator to track Trespalacios' every move. A sense of control, a desire to possess, was beginning to take root. The situation took a terrifying turn when surveillance footage surfaced. It showed Poulos carrying a suitcase, an ordinary object that soon became a symbol of an unimaginable horror. As investigators pieced together the chilling puzzle, they discovered that the suitcase was believed to contain Trespalacios' lifeless body. The news sent shockwaves through Bogota and beyond. The radiant DJ who once filled rooms with music and joy was now the victim of a gruesome crime. The man who was once her partner now stood as the main suspect in her murder. Poulos, however, was not in Colombia when these revelations came to light. He was found in Panama, attempting to board a flight to Turkey. His escape was thwarted and he was detained, only to be extradited back to Colombia. Charged with femicide and tampering with evidence, he was now in the hands of the Colombian justice system. The evidence against Poulos seems damning, but what does the court have to say? Justice, they say, is blind, but in this case, does it see clearly? The legal proceedings against John Poulos are underway, with charges of femicide and tampering with evidence. Colombian authorities have accused Poulos of murdering Valentina Trespalacios in a jealous rage and disposing of her body in a suitcase. This chilling act was not the end, as he attempted to flee the country only to be apprehended in Panama. But it's not just the authorities who paint Poulos in a damning light. His ex-wife has come forward describing their marriage as abusive and alleging that he abandoned their children. Trespalacios' family echo these sentiments, recounting Poulos's obsessive behavior towards the late DJ. In the courtroom, the testimonies from these key figures in Poulos's life serve as crucial pieces of the puzzle, painting a character portrait of a man driven by jealousy and obsession. As the evidence stacks up, Poulos's future seems increasingly uncertain. But as the gavel falls, what does the future hold for John Poulos? In the wake of such a tragedy, what remains? The music community mourns the loss of an up-and-coming talent, Valentina Trespalacios, who was just beginning to make her mark. Her absence is felt deeply, not only by her fans but also by her family, who are left grappling with their unimaginable loss. As for the case, it is far from over. John Poulos, the main suspect, is currently being held in Colombia. He stands accused of femicide and tampering with evidence, serious charges that carry heavy consequences. The authorities believe Poulos acted out of a jealous rage, a theory supported by evidence of his obsession with Trespalacios. He hired a private investigator to track her, and surveillance footage allegedly shows him disposing of her body. The case has garnered international attention and hearings are scheduled to take place soon. As for Poulos, his past has come to light, revealing a history of abusive behavior. His ex-wife shared harrowing accounts of their marriage, further painting a picture of a man capable of such a horrific crime. In the end, the story of Valentina Trespalacio serves as a chilling reminder of the dark side of obsession and the devastating consequences it can bring.